guys, welcome back to Beauty Nomad and to another tutorial from my time in Australia. I've mostly been based in Melbourne, but I've spent part of my summer uh, here in this beautiful beach house in a coastal town called Ocean Grove. Check out those views. I've just been soaking up the sun and, you know, taking in the beautiful beach air. It's been really nice to take a break from all the winter in Canada. Um, and tonight I have this gold and magenta glam look ready for you. So if you want to see what I, um, what I did to achieve this, just keep watching. Also, if you like this tutorial, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, share with all your friends, and also hit that subscribe button. I started this look by applying this Bare Minerals Primetime Primer in the original formula because my skin doesn't have a very hard time keeping makeup put, like it's not oily or anything, um, but rather it's more on the dry side, so this helps keep my skin from drinking up the makeup too much if it's looking for hydration. Next I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 235 on a flat foundation brush. I really like the dewy finish of this foundation, just as it is, so I don't feel the need to bring it out anymore with a Bat Beauty Blender or anything, I just stick to the brush. Plus it gives me a slightly heavier coverage, which is what I'm looking for in this look. Now I'm using my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer to conceal and highlight certain places on my face. So I'm just going to paint on what kind of looks like a complicated hieroglyphic war paint design all over my face to blend out. Um, I go under my eyes in those triangles to bring brightness and lift there. Then I'm going to go down my nose in a straight line for some correction, um, between my brows for more lift as well, and on top of my cupid's bow and a bit on my chin. And then I'm just blending it all out. All this highlighting would look kind of funny um, brought forward if there wasn't something to contrast it against. So that's what I'm going to be doing a little bit later on in this tutorial. I'm going to be receding other areas back with a bronzer, so just watch out for that. For now though, I'm just setting everything down with this Bare Minerals Original Powder in Medium Tan. I like that it gives me some extra coverage and also that it has that beautiful reflective mineral powder finish. I'm usually very sparing with powders on my skin because as I've said before, my skin is on the drier side, but mineral powder tends to be a lot more hydrating. Okay, I'm leaving my skin there for now to let it set and then moving on to my eyes. So this is going to be the finished look. It's this gold glam looking um, eye with some brown definition towards the end and a dramatic wing liner. So to get started, I'm going to go in with this cream shadow base in El Dorado from NARS all over my lid and I'm just applying it with my finger. Next I'm using this bronzer in dark from Stila to define above my crease with a nice puffy brush. You want to get into the hollow of the eye there, just above the crease, to make the lid look more defined and contrast it against the lighter gold shade that we just used on the mobile lid. Now I'm going to be going in with one of my favorite Stella palettes, this one is called the Natural Eyes Eyeshadow Palette, and I'm using this shade called Gilded Gold to do some outer crease definition work. I use a tissue to help um, stop fallout from the powder and also to use as a bit of a stencil to create a really sharp shape. And then with the shape created, I just blur it out with um, the same brush so it looks nice and modern. Eye makeup that isn't blended down tends to look a bit dated, and unless that's something you're going for specifically, I really can't stress the importance of blending enough. Okay, next, on this pointed pencil brush, I'm actually just going to be using the black powder from the Stella palette to really define close to the lash line and right into the heart of the crease. And then, don't worry, I'm not leaving that black powder unblended either. Um, I'm just grabbing this brown Bengali powder from NARS on the same fluffy brush and blending it over the black to soften everything out. And there, as you can see, everything has just become diffused and blown out, so it's not super, like, 90s looking. Now I'm going to quickly fill in my brows. <sighs> just catching my breath now that I'm all done, and I'm ready to do the winged liner with my Mega Liner from Wet n Wild. I've done some extensive tutorials on how to do dramatic wings, so just click on the links uh, in the description box or up here in the top left link to see my strategy broken down. Finally, I'm ready for some good coats of mascara because I don't use falsies, even for a glam look. The only time you'll ever catch me wearing falsies is if I'm going to a costume party or some really black tie event. I usually just stick to layering on mascara and then combing it out for extra definition if I feel like it needs it. And as a final step for the eye, I'm going to be using this bronze eyeliner to line the waterline just to complete the look. Mm. On second thought, I think I'm going to dust a bit of a champagne gold shimmer under the brow bones just as a final lift and highlight in the inner corner. Okay, so now that the skin has had some time to set, I'm going to go back in and sculpt and recede all those areas of my face that I didn't bring forward with a highlight earlier. So with that same Stella bronzer, I'm shading in the areas under my cheekbones, below where I made those upside down highlight triangles under my eyes, and I'll also shade down the sides of my nose on the sides of where I highlighted with concealer. 
And now it's time to blend all those harsh lines down. And I'm actually doing it with the same brush that I had used to apply that mineral powder earlier. That way I don't have to use a brand new brush and whatever mineral powder is still clinging to that brush can help diffuse down the bronzer for me even better. Okay, and as for cheek color, I'm going to be using this super shimmery, super orgasm from NARS because I want this really highlighted glow on the apples of my cheek. And as a final touch, I'm using, wow, another NARS product. This time it's this creamy highlighter in gold, remember, on the tops of my cheeks. Since that's a creamy product, powder is going to cling really nicely to it, so I'm actually going over the top of it with the same shimmery champagne eyeshadow that I've used for my Stella palette um, under my brow bone. The shade is called Kitten. For this look for lips, I wanted a really rich, very magenta color. So I'm lining my lips with this Body Shop Cranberry Stick, which is kind of, uh, yeah, like a cranberry color. It's got a bit of berry in it. And then I'm using this NARS Audacious Lipstick in Audrey, which is this really rich berry tone that's absolutely gorgeous. To bring some dimension to the lip, I'm using this gloss, which feels really oil-based um, to me. It's from Sunday Riley. And as a final touch to tie everything back to the gold theme that I have running throughout this whole look, I'm using that same gold member cream highlighter on the bottom center and top center of my lip to bring out more of a pout. And there you have the whole look broken down. If you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a like and a subscribe. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram at jazba underscore s or search me under beauty nomad. Um, I'll put all the links in the description box and I'll catch you in my next video. Ciao for now. Bye.